to today's video. It is the morning time here for me and I wanted to bring you along a typical morning routine. So I like my mornings to be quite slow. I get up at 6 in the morning with Hamish and I like to make his breakfast and his lunch before he goes to work at 6.30 and then I will sit by the fire and I'll read and this morning I did a little bit of knitting. Now I've made my coffee, I'll probably just sit down with this and enjoy it for 20 minutes before I get into my cleaning for the day. So if you're new here, my name is Tayana and I like to share how I'm creating a more simple life and relearning traditional skills. So join me on this journey and hit that subscribe button. cleaner that I like to use on my kitchen surfaces so I'm gonna go ahead and refill that up and I thought I'd just quickly show you how I do that because it's quick and not complicated at all and I actually just mostly wing the ratios I don't really follow a recipe or anything but I just like to add in some white vinegar and I'll probably fill this to about a quarter of the way and then I'll add in about half a cup about, uh, about another quarter of a cup of water, so it's about halfway, and I never fully fill this up, I'm not sure why, it's just the way I do it, but it's about half full, and then I'll add in, I don't know, maybe 10 drops of peppermint oil, and I'm going to add an orange as well, and I'll probably add in 10 drops of orange as well. I like to use filtered water because I read up about tap water with the chemicals that it has in it can sometimes make the cleaner go off more quickly. So that's all I do and I will just spray that on the surfaces to clean the bench. put on my diffuser some morning so I'm gonna put that on this morning and I'm just gonna put some water in it and I'm gonna put the same essential oils in as I did with the all-purpose cleaner and I'll just set that onto my coffee machine and let that go for most of the morning
I thought I would show you guys in case some of you are interested in what I'm knitting at the moment because I'm sort of just making this up as I go. It's changed a couple of times because I've done things wrong and I really don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'll show you anyway. So the idea that I have is this is half the side of a cardigan and well, it was supposed to be half. It's now three quarters of a side um, and it's not a cardigan, sorry. It's like a pullover vest type thing. And anyway, I was going to make it so that the buttons would come down the centre. That is now not happened because I think I made this part too wide. So what I'm doing is I'm in the middle of knitting this part here. And I'm thinking, so this is the strap. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it just a little bit shorter than the width of this. So that it will kind of come up this side and there will be buttons on this side of the vest so it's not quite in the center it'll be quite to more to the left side of this vest and then I'm just going to have a full width back but I'm really not sure because I forgot to shape the armholes again and that's the second time I've done something like that but I think it's going to work if I just um, stitch it together down this side seam but we'll see I'm just working on the other side now, as I said, and I haven't made the back. But I'm interested to see how it works. I've never knitted buttonholes, so that'll be a first time thing for me. And yeah, well, it's definitely gonna be unique, I think. So we'll see how that goes. room now and as you can see there's not really that much that I need to do I'll just make the bed and pick up the clothes from the day before I'll put on a load of washing and that's all I really will do in the bedroom So this is how I will organize the clothes in the morning that I pick up from the floor in the bedroom. So I picked everything up now and on the left hand side I put a pile of things that are clean that I'll fold and pack away. And on the right hand side there is a pile of clothes that will go into the laundry basket that will need to be washed. Whenever I do a wash I will always use my laundry powder and I'll use a couple of these half tablespoons. This is just made from washing powder, an all natural laundry soap and essential oils. You can find my recipe up on my blog otherwise I'll leave the video above so you can watch that if you like but I'll just add a couple of spoons to the washing machine. Go ahead and add my clothes. So once I've done most of the cleaning around the house, I will come to the bathroom, wipe down the surfaces in the bathroom just really quickly, start to get ready for the morning. So I'll brush my teeth and then I'll show you what I do after that. I have 
have washed and dried my face, I'm going to show you what I do to my skin in the morning. I only have two things that I usually use and that is my homemade whipped dandelion body butter. So I will just get a little bit of this on my finger and a little goes a long way. So I'll just usually apply this to my face. And I like to just put the excess down my neck. That's all I do to my skin pretty much. Some mornings I will put on a little bit of foundation under my eyes and on my eyelids just because sometimes I feel like they're a bit discolored but that's only usually when I'm going to town or I have something on. And then otherwise I'll use my pore pore cream and apply this to my lips. And that is pretty much how I get ready in the morning. For my hair, again, I won't do much. I'm actually testing out using a comb at the moment. I've been using a brush for, I mean, I don't think I've ever used a comb, but I don't know. I just thought I would try something different and see if it is better or worse. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. I'm also using a comb while I'm in the shower to brush through my shampoo and conditioner. And I just feel like, I mean, I've only done it twice, but my hair has been quite nice in the morning afterwards. So we'll see how that goes. But today I am just going to do something really simple. So I'm going to brush it out. Once I've brushed it out, I might, I don't know, I don't really want it parted in the middle. Maybe I'll go for, I might just part it down this side. And I've got like this little fringe that I cut myself and I don't think I'll be doing it again but it's growing back slowly but surely and I'll just grab this front section so yeah I like to clip back my fringe because it does get annoying so I'll just grab this and I'll probably just use my clip and clip that in and that is probably all I will do to my hair today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you'd like to see more videos like this from me, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post weekly videos on simple sewing, natural living and from scratch cooking. And I will leave the recipes below for my washing powder and dandelion whipped body butter if you'd like to try and make those for yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye.